Jake here for American Trucks, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Raxium Axial Series OEM style replacement headlights with chrome housings and clear lenses, fitting 2007 to 2013 Sierra 1500s. Whether your headlights are damaged or just looking a bit faded, a set of replacements are likely in order. And if you're looking to keep everything pretty much stock aesthetically speaking, these will get you exactly that original look without the price tag of original GM parts. Now when it comes to headlights, you often have to spend a pretty penny to get something good, but that's not the case here. These are gonna be nearly identical to your factory lights, featuring a really clean overall design, and they're meant to perfectly mimic your factory halogens. You get the chrome internal housings with clear lenses, and they are a perfect fit as well, so no modifications or wiring are necessary. And utilizing the factory style bulbs means that replacement or upgrades are easy to come by and they're relatively inexpensive. Now this set is also fully DOT and SAE compliant as well, making them fully street legal. And that also means that they have integrated adjusters on the back too, so you can get them adjusted perfectly. Now when it comes to construction, these are made using OEM grade quality materials, polypropylene housings both inside and out, plus polycarbonate lenses over top. Each light is of course weather sealed to keep out dirt and moisture as well, so these should stay nice for quite some time. Pricing comes in at about $250 for the set, making these some of the least expensive options out there for this gen of Sierra. Now you can bet that they're less expensive than a factory replacement from GM themselves, so I'd call these a pretty good value. And they're gonna make a huge improvement in the overall look of your truck because it's gonna refresh everything too. So for a small amount of money, you're getting a nice improvement and it'll make it a little bit easier for your truck to both be seen and for you to see when you're out on the road too, thanks to some nice clear headlight lenses. Installation gets a one out of three on our difficulty meter and you can expect the job to take you about two hours to complete. Swapping out lights is a very straightforward process. You basically just pop out the old ones and put these in their place. Certainly something you can accomplish at home and to show you how to get it done, let's hand things over now to one of our AT customers. Okay, so this is what you will need to complete this job. Okay, you will need a 10 millimeter socket, a seven millimeter socket, a six inch extension, quarter inch, all this is quarter inch. I like to use quarter inch on little t stuff like this so I don't over tighten. Um, quarter inch ratchet, a uh, Phillips head, and pry bar. Either one will work. Um, this was just for a trick, just to show you how to use electrical tape with the socket. But these are your primary tools to finish that job. All right, so today we are going to be working on a 2012 uh, GMC Sierra. Uh, we're gonna be changing out these nasty, nasty headlights. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's not that difficult at all. Um, so let's just get right to it and get to it. Off your hood. Got so all my tools laid out over here. Get you a pry bar. Either one, plastic, metal, does not matter. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna pop these top clips off. You just want to move them up and they will come out. stubborn, just spray them with a little WD-40 or something and they'll come right out. So you have remove this and you'll see that you have 
bolt here, a bolt here, and there's also another bolt on this side over here. So what we're gonna do, get a quarter inch ratchet uh, without the extension and a seven millimeter uh, socket. Over here, you've got two <clears throat> bolts right here. Remove those two bolts. to wiggle and pop this loose be easy don't go crazy with it you're just trying to get it to pop once she pops you're good okay just like that and all you're going to want to do is just kind of swing it out of the way just like that okay now you can see in there there's your other bolt for your headlight you can see that really good but there's a bolt in there. Yes, there it is. <clears throat> so, get your extension and a 10 millimeter socket, okay? Loosen that bolt. And they should not be in there very tight. And when you put this back, we're not gonna put it tight either. Set aside. Take your other two bolts off the top here and here. You have to remove this bumper because there's a lip down here that catches into the headlight. You have to get that out. See right there, you see how it is? Those lips right there, see that? That's what you need to get out. Okay, be very easy taking this out. It will come out, but you just have to finagle it. lights do not touch the bulbs with your oils on your hands you're going to twist left twist left it should easily come out okay those are for your this is your high beam and this is your low beam and this is your turn signal I'm sorry, this is your turn signal and this is your running lights. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my assembly. Okay. The new one. It's so much better. So much better. But this one actually comes with an assembly on the back. Okay. I'm not going to use this assembly. I'm going to use my stock assembly. So I'm going to remove all these just the way I took out my old assembly. Okay. Get my Phillips head. I'm going to loosen this. Okay, because I do not need that. All that out. Okay. There's the harness removed. Now, got little pieces of paper on here. Get rid of those. Okay, so you do have to use their assembly um, because the stock ones will not go in there. So you do have to replace all of that. Okay, so I'm going to put the stock assembly back on there. Let me just put this down and I'll change out the bolts. Did you see how I did that? Lift this tab up and push down. Put the new one on there, push that back down. There's the new harness. And if those come out, these little things right here, these are shims for the headlights. Now, get all back together. So start with the inside. Oh yeah, that, that's a lot better. So you do have to use the harness it does come with. Turn to the right. So the way you're gonna determine if you get lost on your high beams and your low beam, you're gonna have a 9,005, okay? Say it right there, 9,005. That is your high beam, that is your high beam. High beam goes on the bottom. This is your low beam. It should be an H11, an H11. Okay, now, delicately, delicately, yes, put it in there. little tabs over here on this side come here and look at this look down in there and you'll see see those tabs they got to line up in those holes okay
we're in. So now we're just gonna put our bolts back in. The shorter one is gonna be two long ones and a short one. Okay, short one goes down on the side bottom where the bumper is. Before we do anything, we're gonna turn it on and make sure that it is working. Perfect. Tighten it down all the way until you get all bolts in and started. And that one's the long one? This is the long one, correct. <laughs> the short one is for down here on the bumper. Your extension, your seven mil. Without the ratchet, and just get it started. Light in and get your ratchet back on there so it's nice and kind of flush right here. Just give her a little snug. We're not trying to kill it, we're just snugging it. That's it, okay? All right, come up top. Go ahead and tighten down. Remember, we're just snug. That's it. Take the extension off. of these clips, okay, on the headlight, just like that, okay? Just make sure you're on the edge over here. Come over here and watch this. Just gonna wanna pop it back in, just like that. That's it, it's plastic, you're not gonna hurt it, just be easy with it. Get your ratchet. In your seven millimeter socket. We're gonna put these two bolts back in. And these are gonna be snug too, just snug. You're not trying to over tighten it. Always start stuff by hand. That's it. Okay, so that is the right side. Loosen this. Loosen this guy. 
and all I'm trying to do is right here the fit of the of the light right here where it matches the, the fender shims. That's all I got for it. Okay. Helped out some. Okay, let's go to the passenger side. Same thing, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna take these two bolts off. First you need your seven mil. Okay, seven millimeter socket, quarter inch ratchet. Take these two bolts off. Okay, now gently remove this bumper piece. Gently work it, work it. Give it a little slight tug, just kind of move it around, and it'll come off. Don't go crazy. Okay. Keep on prying. Okay, that's all you're after right there. Okay, you're just trying to get below these black clips right here. That's all you want. So you just gently pull it and go under it. Like that. And another little tip too. If you're having a hard time getting any of these headlights out, you can release this grill to get more room. Um, and I'll show you really quick. Um, it makes it look on some of them, on some of the headlights. I don't know why, but it's a little tighter in spots than it is in other knot spots. So sometimes that headlight will come out really easy. Sometimes this won't unless you release the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And there's also a 10 millimeter You just have to do the two bolts. You don't have to do all the way because you'll have a little bit of movement right there. Um, but if it's too much in the way, um, what you can do is you'll just undo all these and there's little clips down in here. As you can see right here, see that clip? That clip right there, you just pinch it with a pair of needle nose and you can slide it right out, okay? The, uh, the headlight my extension so go on the side get that side bolt first remember you need extension at least six inches 10 millimeter socket and your ratchet quarter inch is fine okay there's a bolt right here on this side right there Okay, to the 
top. Remember, this is the shorter bolt out of all three of these bolts. There's only three bolts that hold this headlight assembly on. Take the extension off for this one. You can leave it on if you want. And I'll show you that. Either way, let's see, these are these shims that I put in over there. Set them aside. Okay. Put that shim out. Here's your shim. Gently move it out of there. See, and you can see that I had to move. I have to move this to get this out of here. Move that. I'm going to go ahead and let me show you this clip right here. Push this up. Push down and it'll slide out of there. There you go. Okay, now you have to use the assembly that comes on the new headlights. Uh, the factory connections do not connect to these um, these headlights. So you have to use theirs. So what you do, you just come over here. your towel down so you don't scratch up your new lenses. Okay. Take these pieces of paper off. So just start bulb, bulb to bulb, bulb to bulb. We'll go boom. Okay. This can be a little tough to get out. Just give it some wiggle, pop it out of there. It snaps in, put it back in there. Turn to the right. Lefty to get it out and righty to put it back. Okay, our next bulb. Snap it back in place. Right. Okay, these here, okay, this is gonna be your low beam, which is an H11, okay, an H11. See right there, H11, okay. You need the bulb only, that's it. That's all you need is the bulb. 
so you take those two clips off and you just pop it out it's two clips right there okay and it's self-explanatory this one has the two clips okay it has the two clips the other one for your high beam only has one clip okay so you can't get them messed up you can't get it messed up okay it's got a groove see the groove the groove just clip it in place you'll have a wider see how that's wider and these two are narrow and you've got your wider one to the right. Okay, that's in there pretty good. Okay. All right, this is your high beam. Remember, to the left, to the left. This is your high beam. See, it's the one that only has the one clip. Take that, and just slide it right out of there. Put it on the new one. See? like that okay. Okay. to the left pops it out to the left pops it out and this is just a little bulb it just pops right out Really easy. Pops right back in. Boom, just like that. And that goes to the right. Put that back in there. Okay, we got our clip that we unclipped here. So we're just gonna clip right back onto that. Okay, so when you're going back in, these two tabs right here, there's two holes right here in the fender, you have to go into there. There's also a clip right here for this. Okay, that clips into there, and these go into there. First, go ahead and put your clip on, okay. Self-explanatory. Okay, and make sure that you put this back down. Okay, that's what locks it from it not being able to push down right there. That eats up that space. get this bumper over the top of these tabs right here. It fills into that tab part, okay? Now, all I wanna do is make sure that my clip that I showed you down here on this side clips in. Okay, did you hear that? I felt it, it went in. Everything is nice and lined up. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our bolts started. Remember, we had the two, the two long ones and the short one. And the short one goes on the side behind the bumper, the short one. 
see the difference. Okay. Let's go ahead and get your bolt started. Okay, so this one, it had the shim in it, but I'm not gonna put the shim in it this time. It's pretty tight in there, so I like the way it's sitting. Okay, I've got those started by hand. I'm gonna come down here on this side with this bumper. And a little trick, if you're, um, if you're having issues with the bolt falling out, you can always take a piece of electrical tape. Put it over the socket like that and just stick the bolt in it like that. Okay, and now it's not gonna go anywhere. That way you can get it in there and get it started. Okay, get the ratchet and go ahead and tighten it up. And you can go ahead and snug it up. You don't have to put a whole bunch on it, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Electrical tape, so easy, so efficient. All right, we're gonna tighten up our top bolts. And after we do this, we're gonna turn it on and make sure everything is functioning in the light. So we're gonna turn this on, make sure they're functioning. Okay, we have blinker, we have low beam, and we have high beam. Fire running lights. Okay, so we're gonna take our two little bolts for our bumper and our seven millimeter. Okay. We are going to put the bumper back on. Now, remember when you're doing this bumper, that I remember I said about these tabs, getting it up over the tabs has to be over those tabs. Okay, and just give it a little push. Don't have to. It doesn't have to be crazy. Make sure you roll that edge over. Push it in. That's it. All you have to do. Come over here, take your seven millimeter, ratchet, place these two bolts back in. Always start by hand so that we don't cross thread. And these do not have to be super tight, just snug. You're just snugging it. That's why I'm using a quarter inch.
just snug. Okay, so remember we took our bolt off so that we could get our light and took it out of the grill. So we have to put those bolts back. Remember, start by hand. Snug, just snug. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, before we put this plastic piece back on, I made a mistake and I put this shim on incorrectly. So I'm going to put it on correctly. It goes like the one that we took off over there. There we go. Just like that. Tighten her back down. plastic cover back on we're going to go ahead and take the film off of the headlight is nice and tight we've got everything tightened up everything's good to go we've checked all our headlights so we are good we're gonna place that down right there okay and then all you're gonna do is take your clips place them back in so You, if they're like this, they're the notched. There's only one way that they can go in. See how it's like a puzzle piece? It can only go in one way. Okay. So go ahead, take that out, put your plastic piece in, and then go ahead and put that in and flip it down. Same thing. can go ahead and put all these first if you want and then come back with the puzzle piece.
that is done. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the Raxium Axial Series OEM style replacement headlights with chrome housings and clear lenses, fitting 2007 to 2013 Sierra 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, for all things Sierra, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.